<laughs> still a chance. <laughs> Hi. Michelle, what's your name? Matt. Come on, come on. Come. Is this yours, Matt? Yeah. Come. Are you with anyone? Come. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send to over there. Should we go and call your mum and dad? Don't forget Mug. Told you to trust me. I can't believe it. This is the best surprise ever. What do you think of the new house, Ellie? Brilliant. Are you absolutely sure we can afford it? Oh, stop fretting, will ya? Well, this new job will be rolling in it. What if something happens again? It won't. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Mum, look in here. The back garden's massive. Isn't it great? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it's going to be so much better here. Oh, I hope so. I will be. Be a new start for us all. Hi, uh, Mr. Collins. Uh, yeah? Yeah, no problem. Well, I can set off now. Right, thank you. One of the drivers has phoned in sick, they want me to go in. Oh, and your day off. Oh, it's fine. It's fine, it's only one delivery, I won't be long. Dad, Mark wants to come with you and sit in your new lorry. Right. Well. Come on then, Mog. Bye. I'll see you later. He's at the Mill Health Centre, so if you can just give me a call when you can. Thank you. Your mum's not in. Do you know her mobile number? Max. What were you doing outside the health centre? Where were you going? I've been seeing my dad. Do you know his number? No. He's gone away. that all you ever do is fill his head with stories so are you coming or not you should be ashamed of yourself you haven't seen him in months oh go to hell dad come to the party no he's got better things to do it's all your fault oh listen max you keep shouting at him that's why he stopped coming that's not the reason why max wait Max, are you okay? That man who got knocked down. What's his name? Nick. Is he dead? I am. I'm not sure.
Everything they could. No. Um, I closed the surgery. Max, he's got nowhere to go. His mom's not at home. It's... But it's, it's okay. I'll, 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 um, I'll sort it out. Me, Julie, you saw what happened. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Michelle, why, why don't you go home? Hmm? <laughs> asking me all those questions then? Well, I think they just, um, want to find out what happened. So I take it you like football then? Yeah. I'm one of the best in my school. Are you? My dad used to be a professional football player though. Wow, now that's impressive. I've got to be better then. Yeah? When I'm playing for Manchester United, he's going to come and watch me every match. Great. So does your dad always watch you play? Yeah. He never misses a match. Princess. <laughs> no, I won't forget Mark, she's in my pocket. Listen, um, I'm not sure when I'll be home. I love you too, Angel. I love, love you. Bye. <laughs> You did really well. Didn't do any good. Okay, you just sit there for a minute, all right, lovely? And you did all you could. Did I? Yeah, all anyone could, and you can't blame yourself. <sighs> Hold it there, son, I've got it. Nick went to go get it. Listen, Max, it's nobody's fault. Really, it isn't. But Max, you know when you uh, cross the road, you look both ways, yeah? Well, Nick forgot to do that. So it's not your fault. It's just an accident. A terrible accident. No one could have prevented it. Dad! Hiya, kid. Oh! <laughs> Just the three of us. Oh. Well, anything could 
Squeeze one more in. Mug! We used to spin us around like superheroes. <laughs> right, come here. Come here. Ready? One, two, three, up and... <laughs> 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 you make me jump. <laughs> Got something for you. Go. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. oh, it's lovely. It's the kind of thing you buy your wife when you're having an affair. Just thought I'd start making more of an effort. So I brought this on. Nothing. Oh, I just decided it's stupid getting stressed about things. She you and Ellie, that's important. Nothing else. Sounds like you've been doing some thinking. I'm sorry. Yeah. Again, I'm getting a migraine. So. There you are. You're feeling a bit better now. Yeah. The police want to talk to you a minute in reception. Uh, yeah, we'll be a minute. <laughs> Melody. <laughs> oh, after everything you've been through, for it all to end like this, I mean, what was the point? I don't know, but I do know that Nick was a terrific doctor with a real passion for what he did, so... It's got to be worth something. <laughs> well, he made a big difference to a lot of people's lives. <laughs> Mustn't forget that. to call Ellie in for dinner. Mandy, I'm sorry. <laughs> Listen, don't worry. Your mum will pick up her messages, I'm sure. How'd it go with the police? Uh, 
Well, they've not traced the lorry yet. Probably never will. Jamie, could you make sure she gets home all right? Yeah. Hurry up, Dad. The party food's ready. <laughs> Everything all right? Yeah. <laughs> Ellie, don't do that. Have you still got your migraine? Oh, I'm just tired. Is that all it is? Yes. Ellie, will you stop doing that, please? Yes. Ellie. Oh, Ellie, will you stop doing that, please? So nothing happened at work, then? No. Well, obviously something's bothering you. Just leave it, will you? How many more times? We'll just give me that! What the hell? What you do is you're told! Huh? Ellie, go and wait in the car for Mummy. What's going on? Where are you going? Away from you. What? Just as I shouted. Get back here. Ah, shit! Get! Monday. 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 I'm sorry. I know that somewhere around here we've got some comics. Where are they? Ah. Yes. There we go. How's that? Thanks. Caroline. Hi. Um, I just came from the hospital. I didn't know where else to go. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> okay. Auntie! Auntie, please don't go! Ellie's not safe. I'd never hurt her. <laughs> what about me? I really believed you when you said things were going to be different. I swear to you, it won't happen again. Oh, I've heard it all before. No, you don't right? understand. You don't understand it. It's different this time. Please. No. I knocked somebody down today. You was. In the lorry. I just drove away. You was. I've not, I've not been able to think straight. How could you? I did it for you and Ellie. So I could keep my job, so, so we could have the fresh start we wanted. Don't you dare use me and Ellie to justify it. You did it because you are a coward. I was trying to make everything all right. How many more people are you going to hurt? I'm not coming back this time. Oh, no, please don't say Get that. Get away from me! I'm begging you. I beg you, I beg you, please. I can't go on without you and Ellie, please. Stay away from both of us. I want you out of our lives for good. Mandy, Mandy please. Mandy! Mandy, listen to me! Will you listen? Don't do this! Mandy! Mandy! I keep expecting him to walk through those doors. I can't believe it. It's so quiet out there now. It's like it never happened. Okay. You plan to go to a gig when you finish work? You plan to do a lot of things? going to go away together. <laughs> well, you know, Nick's idea of a holiday was either skydiving or rock climbing. <sighs> he wanted to go scuba diving. <laughs> I told him that he wouldn't be strong enough, but he wouldn't have it. Well, that's typical Nick, isn't it? 
Never giving in, always pushing himself. Police. It was me who knocked down that man outside Mill Surgery in Leatherbridge. My name is Raymond Thornhill. I don't know. Just tell me what happened. Is he all right? He was, um, well, he was a bit shocked, but I think he's fine now. I've been looking for you everywhere. I can find out all about Nick. Hmm? The man who got locked down. Oh, Max. He was really cool. Not only did he climb cliffs and stuff, he also helped people and made them better. Come on. You can tell me about it on the way home. Thanks for looking after him. No problem. Oh, hang on. Oh, you mustn't forget this. You're going to need to get in some practice if you're going to be a professional. I don't really want to be a footballer anymore. I want to be like Nick. I want to be a doctor. Yesterday. You've threatened it with a wet wipe. Yeah. Got some bad news about Nick. She'll start treating you like an idle English speaking cleaner while she cops off with a rugby player from accounts. I don't think so. It's my pimp. I won't tell me dad. Not if you make it worth my while. What are you? Playing clothes. Get out. A corpse with a bad habit of disappearing, Dr Mark Sloan tries to keep up in Diagnosis Murder, coming next on BBC One Scotland. And later, many will take the walk of shame, but only one will triumph. The weakest link, rounding up the afternoon at 5.15. Vampire 